I'm here with my daughter Soraya to test her on some uh, detoxers that might help her with her chelation. Um, she's transitioned recently from E3 Live to DMSA. We did one week with DMSA 32 milligrams. Now we've just bumped her up to 62 milligrams. Um, previously she couldn't do 62 milligrams without going fully autistic after about day four. Uh, now she's been on 62 milligrams for I think two weeks or maybe three. Um, and she's not, we're not seeing any autistic symptoms at all. So I think that E3 Live really helped um, pull some stuff out so that, and get her body um, detoxing. And we've been doing with that a lot of drainage and unsticking things. And so I think that really got her um, ready to switch over to the DMSA. So, but one thing I noticed with the DMSA is that her throat was hurting. And what I did was I was trying to debug the throat. Why would the throat be hurting without a cold or a cough or a nose running or anything like that? And finally, after days of thinking about it, I thought to test her on a strep, homeopathic strep remedy, and she tested really well on that. So I started her on the remedy, and then I realized, well, we've spent thousands of dollars in the past and a couple years on the homeopathic strep remedy, the whole family, and the truth is every time we stopped it, the strep just came right back. So I didn't feel like the strep remedy was really gonna um, maybe help her with the strep, uh, the sore throat acutely, but I didn't know that that was something I wanted to spend, I knew that there must be some other cause. And then I finally realized, well, wait a minute, she's on the DMSA. Usually when metals are circulating, then strep tends to flare up. So I realized what she actually needed was not the strep homeopathic drops, but she needed um, something to help her detox the metals and get those out of her system, and then the strep would go away. And so sure enough, I tested her, and I found out that Toxin Absorb Max seemed to help her the most, so I put her on an oral dose. I think she's getting two pills twice a day right now, plus two pills uh, powdered twice a day, and she's also getting some in a lotion on her arms, and there's some bumps on the back of her arms um, that we haven't noticed before. That um, that and that seems to help. And her and since we've been doing the toxin absorb max, her sore throat has gone away. So I just want to check in with her again on her uh, detoxers here, and just see what she's testing well on. See if maybe she needs more of something. So I'm going to have my husband uh, hold his fingers. He's got a magnet on his hand, and he's got his hand on her belly. And he's holding his fingers. I'm just going to test his base, the baseline strength. One, two, three, hold. One more time. One, two, three, hold. Okay. And I'm going to go through the first, um, the first detoxer is Toxin Absorb Max. One, two, three, hold. Really strong on that still. Um, then she's got some D diamaceous earth. One, two, three, hold. Pretty strong on that as well. Go to the next one. She's got some activated charcoal. One, two, three, hold. Mm, not as strong on that one. And some DMSA 125 milligrams just to see if she's testing well on more. One, two, three, hold. Now weak on that, so no more DMSA. Uh, no increased DMSA dose. And now we've got in a jar some Toxin Absorb Max mixed with some shea butter that is a lotion. Um, it's kind of a black lotion, um, but we put it on her rear end where there are bumps and the back of her arms where there are bumps uh, just to help. Again, the skin is the biggest organ, so t sometimes I find the best way to get things in is through the skin. So test her on the lotion, one, two, three, hold. Super strong in the lotion, actually. Even stronger than uh, the toxin absorbent itself. And then we've got one more thing here. I'm going to reach over the DMSA 62 milligrams. That's what she's actually on. I just want to see how she's testing on that. One, two, three, hold. Pretty good on that. 